Hey everyone, this is Will with Indigo Creek Outfitters and this is the boat yard. Today we're going to talk about rafting with kids, why kids love rafting, um, things that you can do that they'll really enjoy on, on their rafting trip, as well as some of the unique challenges um, with rafting with younger kids. So thanks for joining us and we're going to head downstream. Carson's been on five, four or five trips, Carson. Mm -hmm. No, he's been on five multi-day, uh, three or four day trips on the wild and scenic stretch of the Rogue. Emma's been on three or four trips down there. Um, you know, they're quite a bit younger than most kids that get on the river, especially on a stretch that long. Um, but over time, we've kind of figured out a few tricks to make that feasible, make it a lot easier. It's an absolute blast for our family to get on the water. I like rafting because it's so much Everyone likes rafting because they like seeing cabins and bear. So the most important thing about rafting with kids is keeping them safe. Um, and the most important element of keeping someone safe on the river is making sure that they're wearing a life jacket and a life jacket that fits them properly. The life jackets that these guys are wearing um, are rated for their weights. Um, you'll see on the inside of a life jacket, also known as a personal flotation device, you'll typically see like a weight range um, that, uh, that it's suitable for. So um, that's like the most crucial thing is that you've got the correct gear for them. The life jacket's the most important piece of that. I like a splash because it's so much fun. I even can swim by myself because I'm all grown up now, not a baby anymore. So, mm -hmm. so that it's always good to have extra snacks kind of handy. So we keep them in our day bag um, or in our cooler that's like super accessible. If you're on a trip with Indigo Creek Outfitters and you've got you know kids in your group, we're gonna have you know snacks readily readily available for you. Um, if you're doing your own trip, um, it's just something you know, to kind of keep in mind so that you're not. Uh, cruising downstream with a bunch of cranky kids who uh, wish they had some muppets Mama. like Carson has. What we'll do with hey these Dad, guys is we'll set I see up a waterfall. A waterfall? Uh -oh. oh no. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. I hope we make it. And I like to skip rock. Hey Dad, that's all I want. Now it's your turn. Okay. okay. Emma, can you show us how you hold on when you're rafting? Do you hold on to those blue straps? Yeah. Mama. Mama. Oh, Mom Mama. holds on to you. Julie will sit in the front with them and through the larger splashier rapids she'll you know have a grip on each of them. Um, you know make sure that you've got uh, kid friendly sunscreen, um, super accessible uh, in your day bag um, and then make sure you've got extra layers um, or extra sets of clothes for the kids so that throughout the day if they get kind of like uncomfortable maybe in, in wet clothes you can change them out of that um, or you know if, if all of a sudden it gets cold you can you know throw extra layers on um, we'll even take an umbrella with us on some of our trips and that way like if you're in the boat and you're in the middle of the river there's not typically shade um, when you get to the banks of the river and there's trees and stuff it's easy to find shade but in the middle of the river that's not always the case so even if you're getting splashed and staying cool you're kind of like directly in the sun which is why it's important to dress correctly um, but an umbrella can help a lot we made it to camp and these guys are playing on the shore of the river um, you can see we switched out their life jackets these life jackets they're not as bulky as the on river on the when you're on the boat it's really important to have as much flotation as possible and at camp it's important that if they go into the water that they're still going to float um, so these guys don't really know how to totally swim yet especially in really strong well, current well i know how i big i know how to swim right 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 uh, another thing is that sometimes what you'll see with the other life jackets is they'll start to rub the bottom of your uh, chin. And so with kids, especially with sunscreen and dirt and sand and stuff, um, that can develop a little bit of a rash. And these life jackets will give them a kind of like a break from that rubbing, but still keep them floating in the water if they end up uh, hey, falling into the it's, river. It's night time now. Way to go, bed, folks. When we take these guys on multi-day trips, we always bring a few toys with us also, just because the natural environment, they love it. Um, but when it's getting ready to, for time to go to bed, or uh, we start trying to like get them to calm down a little bit, we'll put toys in the tent and they'll start hanging out in there. And that gives us a moment to clean up uh, our kitchen, clean things up. 
or or your stuffed animals. We'll bring stuffed animals with us and make it kind of feel a little bit like home for them. Emma, do you like this tent? Uh-huh. Yeah, me, 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 me. Carson likes the tent. Me, me. So, Carson, it sounded like you were just talking about napping on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. So, napping on the boat's totally fine. And in fact, you should, when you're rafting with little kids, you should totally be prepared for unexpected naps. That's just the reality. Every once in a while, you should be prepared for unexpected dad naps also. So, that's happened to me before. Um, and so, what we'll do to kind of be prepared for that is in our day bag, we'll have like a couple of light blankets. Um, and that way, not necessarily to like keep them warm, but to just kind of like pad parts of the uh, boat that they're on. And so that way they can rest. And Carson's been asleep for, you know, two or three hours while we're over the course of 10 miles um, while we're cruising downstream. So it's definitely a thing that happens. Never want to interrupt a sleeping kid. So, um, so yeah, there's that reality as well. Hi! So on the river, quite a bit of camping gear is not kid size, obviously. So like this roll table is really difficult for them to eat on. It's also like pretty wobbly like this. Um, whereas ad most adults are capable of this challenge. Um, it's a little much for kids sometimes. So you gotta um, change things up a bit. So sometimes we'll take the table away and I throw in something a little bit more stable. These Yeti coolers are like the perfect height for these guys to kind of eat on um, and then sometimes they'll just eat like with the plate in their lap so but if you need like a platform for them um, the coolers work really well they're the right size they're a lot more um, sturdy than the tables are so um, that's just one thing to keep in mind uh, the table the chairs that they're sitting in are obviously huge for them but they're kind of used to that from at home anyway well the kids fell asleep so I guess we're done for the day. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.